you're too old to learn how to code and get a job as a software developer. I don't know how many times I told myself this while I was learning how to code. I learned how to code when I was in my early 30s and the entire time, one of the doubts that I had the most was that I was just too old to get a job. For some reason, I had this misconception that I had to be 25 years old, fresh out of college with a computer science degree to get a job as a programmer. And the truth is, that's not always the case. While it may be for some companies and some places, it's not like that everywhere. And it's strange how I kept thinking this all the way up until I got hired at my first job. That continued to be something that was always on the back of my mind. I kept worrying that I was just too old to learn how to code. The truth is you're not too old to learn anything. If you're willing to take the time to teach yourself a new skill, you can learn pretty much anything that you put your mind to it. So dismiss that thought immediately. Honestly, at my first job, most of the developers were closer to my age. So if anything, it may have helped me that I wasn't super young. But we still had a few developers that were in their early 20s and a lot of us were in our early to mid 30s. And at that first job, we were very diversified. We had people from all types of backgrounds, from all different ethnicities and religions and nationalities. There wasn't any racism there, there wasn't any ageism there, and there was no discrimination there. And at my current job, I'm actually one of the youngest developers there. I happen to work in a place where there's a lot of long-term employees and a lot of them have been there for a really long time. And while you're probably thinking, all right, well that still doesn't mean I'm gonna be able to get my first job as a developer when I'm in my 30s. Well, I did it and look, I had nothing going for me at the time. I had no education. I had learned how to code on my own, no boot camp, no schooling, no nothing. So hopefully that kind of gives you an idea that it can be done. And yeah, you're probably gonna run into hurdles. You're probably gonna have to apply for a ton of jobs. You're gonna probably get turned down and rejected a lot. That's gonna happen anywhere. I'll tell you a little story. At my first job, we were hiring for a designer. We looked at candidates up and down. We were also looking for developers too. We interviewed a lot of developers at the time. We were ready to hire a few junior level candidates that were older than I was at the time. Not because of anything else but their skills. That's all we looked at. We really narrowed it down to who was the best candidate. Who on paper and during the interview process was the best person for the job. We didn't care where they came from. We didn't care how they learned. We didn't care if they were male, female. We didn't care about sexual orientation. We didn't care about any of that stuff. All we wanted was a good developer that can do the job and would grow into their position. That's it. We actually ended up hiring a designer who was in his mid forties and had developer experience. But mind you, he had zero designer experience. And during the interview process, he brought up that he did not want to be a developer anymore. He really enjoyed design and he was looking for the opportunity to fill those shoes and to do that job. We tested him. We interviewed him, we talked to him, we brought him back for more interviews, and then we gave him a small assignment, which was to wireframe a mock landing page. And he did all those things and he passed with flying colors. That's the person that we hired. There was younger people, fresh out of college, with okay portfolios, but the 40 something year old guy did the best out of all the different candidates that we had. And that's the person that got the job. And it was just because of his skills. And he had just learned design along the years and decided to focus on that and make a shift. So just know that there's a lot of limitations that people set on themselves. There's a lot of reasons that you're gonna come up with as to why you can't learn how to code. I've even had younger people commenting saying that, hey, I'm 12, 14 years old, I'm in high school or middle school, can I learn how to code? Look, if you can read, if you can watch a YouTube video and follow along with what they're saying, and if you have a computer where you can practice programming, that's all you need. Stop setting these ridiculous limitations on yourself. I wish that I had this mindset when I was younger. When I was younger, I pretty much wrote everything off and said, I can't do it, it's too hard, it's too difficult, it's gonna take me too long, it's not worth it. And as I get older, I kind of have gotten away from that mindset. It's a very toxic way of thinking. So if I can do these things, 
old, uneducated, unmotivated for the most part early on in my life, why can't you set out to do what you want to do regardless of your age, regardless of whatever you think is holding you back? I don't even think this thing is about being old anymore. I think it's just about get out there, stop making excuses and do what you need to do in order to improve your life, to do what you set out to do and get it done and just stop with the excuses already. All right, with all that said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also drop a comment down below. I'm really interested to see what kind of obstacles you've gotten over, what's currently in your way that might be stopping you from making the next step in your progress and learning how to code or whatever it may be in life. I really want to know. I want to also know what inspires some of you to be motivated and to keep moving forward. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.